Hey guys, this is the fourth C sharp tutorial, and in this tutorial we'll be looking at if statements. And if you don't know what an if statement is, well, you'll learn in the tutorial. So let's get started. Just click create project, Windows Forms application, and you can just leave this at whatever you want. I hope you know this by now, because I don't know. Okay. Now just like all the other tutorials, drag over a button and a text box. And you can line them up or whatever, or change their colors, it really doesn't matter. But just for the pur purpose of this tutorial, this is fine. And then just double click on the button. And type if. And then put a parenthesis. And then text box 1 dot text. So what this does so far is it's going to check and see if text box 1 dot text is something. So to for it to check what that is you need to put two equal signs because in any statement where you're checking to see if um a value is true or not you need to have two equal signs so then you're going to want to type um a quote because this is a string textbox one dot text is a string and type anything you want here i'm just going to type adam and then put another quote and a parenthesis now since we're only dealing with one line of code here, we can just put it right next to it after the parenthesis. Um, just put message box dot show, and then uh, just two quotes, and then we'll just say text box one is Adam. All right, and what this is going to do is if textbox one dot text is Adam, then it will show this message box. And having this right after here will only work if you have one line of code. If you have two lines of code or more, you're going to need to put click enter here, put a uh, bracket or a French curly brace, whichever you prefer to call. Actually, I think it is a French curly brace. I think that's a bracket. So anyway, a French curly brace, I guess we'll say from now on, and put a French curly brace around it. Either way works if you have one line of code, but if you have more than two, you need to have the brackets, or it'll give you an error. Then you're going to want to click debug. And here, if we type anything in the text box, nothing. But if we type Adam, and then click the button, we get, we get a message box. Alright, something else you can add to if statements are else if and what this will do is if this value is not correct it will check this value so we'll just do textbox one dot text is equal to anything we want I'll just put espionage put in a quote um a parenthesis and then we can do it the other way this time we'll just put message box dot show and then um, text box one is espionage. Oops, espionage. And then just put out the other um, parenthesis <laughs> and put a semicolon. As you can see, either way this works. But again, two lines of code. You need the French curly braces. Now we debug, if we type in espionage, we get the message box, and if we type in Adam, we also get the message box, but anything else, and nothing. Okay, so now if, if, if neither of these are correct, we want it to sh say a default thing, so what you're going to want to type is just type else. And for these, you do need to have the uh, French curly braces. And what this will do is, if neither of these are correct, it will go to this code under the else statement here. So we'll just have a message box show. And we'll have it say, your um, input uh, text is invalid or something along those lines you can put it as anything you want I just put it as that so now we're going to debug 
And now, if it is Adam, we get text. We get it. The one for Adam. Type espionage. We get the one for espionage. And if we type anything else, we get your input text is invalid. Or, yeah, anything else. So, that's it for this tutorial. And if you have any questions regarding this code using the tutorial, please leave um, a comment below. Um, if you think my, I'm going too fast in my tutorials, or these tutorials are too hard to understand, please leave a comment saying so, because... I'm like I'm not a good programmer, but like this is like a this is like easy to me. So I don't know. I don't really know if I'm going too fast or not. So please just leave like a comment or whatever if I'm going too fast. In the next tutorial, we'll be working with switch statements. So please look forward to that. Um, see you next time.